I wanted to record the most transparent Darwin X Zero review because I've been trading on their platform for over 10 months now and I prepared everything. Results from my accounts, allocations, profits, pros and cons, still I said no. That's not enough. When I came to the studio this morning, I wrote directly to the company's CEO. I googled him and I found out that his name is Juan Colon and I invited him to answer a few questions publicly on my YouTube channel, but not just online. I will visit them no matter where they are located. Will he agree? I don't know, but this is why I want to do it. See, I'm getting obsessed with all aspects of trading, with robots. Which is the best robot? What are the legit platforms? Are there still legit platforms? I did my best to test so many EAs. I've made public the results from all my challenges, funded accounts and live accounts. And now I have a tough time finding the right platform to fund me because I have good EAs. In many of my videos, I showed you the Darwin X Zero platform. I already have a few accounts with them and I was thinking about how to check if they are legit because I'm about to withdraw the first profits from two of my accounts. So if I show you the funded accounts that we have so far, you will see that there are two with Darwin X. The first one trading the Trade Explorer reached nearly 10% in the last month. And if I show you the VPS where I have the Darwin X platform, you will see that I already have a location of 25,000 euro. And if I go to payments and I show you the allocations, you'll see that at the beginning of April, I will be able to withdraw 79.88 euro. This is what they call the performance fee. And on one of my other accounts, I have a bit more. Here, I'll be able to withdraw 125.98. 91, and you can see that the total profit is 839 euros and 37 cents. I have 60k as allocation and that account has been on a very nice profit and I expect more allocation. But is it really enough? that I'll be able to withdraw these profits. I have so many questions like how Darwin X is regulated, but Darwin X Zero is not. Are my accounts and profits protected in the Zero platform? Why is the profit split they share just 15%? And a few more questions that I really want to get answered. So let's see what happens. And early this morning, I saw a positive response from Darwin X. So I guess it's time to book a flight for Spain. And you might be wondering, is it worth the time and the money to go to Spain? Well, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. And here I am in the heart of Madrid, Spain, with the CEO of Darwin X, Mr. Juan Colon. And I thank you very much for inviting me in your office. Well, thank you for coming. And I apologize in advance if my questions might sound a bit harsh, but I'm getting quite concerned, frankly upset, mm -hmm. from everything that is going on with the prop firms and in the industry in general. So I want to make sure I am trading on a trusted platform and that I show in my videos a trusted platform. So I came to ask you a few questions and these questions are not from me. They are from my subscribers, from us, the traders on your platform. And I would appreciate if you give us your honest and transparent answers. Mm -hmm. So I've narrowed it down to three questions. And the first one is Darwin X is a regulated platform, yet Darwin X Zero is not. Could you explain the reasoning or the structure behind this? Okay, so the structure is we are a platform that gets strategies and uses a regulated asset management license to sell 
strategies to investors. So selling strategies to investors is a regulated activity and for this we carry asset management permissions by the Financial Conduct Authority and the CNMV in Spain. Okay? Okay. So we need regulation to face our investors. Okay. And then we're looking for good traders to get their strategies so that we can get more investors. Okay. Now, when we face our traders with our next zero, we offer, as you know, a 38 euro subscription product where uh, participants or people who are submitting their trades, trade ideas for us to consider are not risking their capital. They're paying a 38 euro fee to certify the track record and as part of the service, we expose those strategies to our investors. Now, we need the regulation to face the investors because we're taking their money and we're managing it, but we do not need any regulation to take ideas from our subscribers, which is what we're doing here. Exactly. Yeah, because my subscribers and me as a trader, I'm on the side where it's not regulated platform, Darwin and Zero, so many are worried that they are on unregulated platform. But what you're saying is, and as far as I understand, the regulation is on the other side between you and the investors, that's, is that so? That's correct, yes. Uh, now, there's also regulation on our side in the sense that in addition to having our asset management license, we also offer, we, we operate a regulated brokerage business. Okay. So the way people can think of the Darwin X ecosystem is one where they start trading uh, virtual capital on Zero, which is an unregulated activity. However, we use the experience and the track record accrued there to make sure that they are ready to trade with our regulated broker. And of course, being a regulated broker is a regulated activity for which we carry the permissions. Okay. Okay, so the first step of the ladder does not require permissions to the extent that the, uh, the traders are not risking capital. That makes sense. When they start risking their own capital, they are facing our broker. And then we are raising investor funds to face the investors. So we carry regulatory permissions to operate a broker and to operate an asset manager. But in the case of Darwin X Zero, since there is no capital at risk, there is no need for us to carry a regulation there. We do, however, carry a regulation at, at, um, at Darwin X Zero because the, the people can move on from the virtual environment to the right. live environment without losing their track record. Okay. And because that can only be done at the Darwin X broker, Darwin X Zero is an appointed representative to the Darwin X broker. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, another interesting thing, since people are worried about the regulation, is that all the payouts that we do to our signal providers are based on the market prices that we offer our investors. What do you mean by market prices? Market prices, the investors are trading live monies. Okay. And we have an obligation to show the real price to the investors. Okay. So any, anything that we pay the traders is validated because the market price was the market price that we applied to investors. Okay. Which means we could not, like in the case of my forex funds, manipulate the price uh, to lower the, the payouts. Okay, I, I understand. And since you mentioned uh, the prop firm, comes the second question. Is there a possibility that Darwin X could lose access to MetaTrader, similar to what is currently happening with most prop firms? Okay, so uh, Darwin X is not something that we, we've been around for 12 years now. Okay, uh, yeah. we were here long before the, this prop thing happened, yeah. and we will, we will be here long after this prop thing happens because yeah. uh, I am very certain the re regulators are going to come in and ban. Uh, this this massive scam. We all that's, hope. Yeah. We all hope. So that is going to happen now. Uh, as a as a company that's been around for 12 years, we have been clients of MetaQuotes since 2014. Okay. And we have been paying all our bills since 2014. Okay. Okay. That so we sense. are the license holders for our own licenses. We're not using third party licenses. We do not offer our licenses to third parties. So I can't see a reason why we would have any problem for paying for our software. I hope so. I mm -hmm. have already myself a few accounts and I'd like to keep them on MetaTrader. And the third question is, why does Darwin X Zero platform offer only a 15% performance fee? We all know that the 80% profit share offered by the prop firms is unrealistic and this is why they always find an excuse not to pay out. But 
Why does Darwin X Zero offer just 15%? Could this percentage be slightly higher? No. No. <laughs> uh, no, it could not be because the uh, we are, as I said before, a uh, regulated asset manager. I had to try. Yeah, no, yeah. The, the world's best hedge funds managed okay. to charge 20, 25% success fee. And that is the market rate right. that a real investor will pay for a hedge fund. So the deal for us is we get the investor, we provide the regulation in addition to the investors that the trader can get paid from the investor profits and we basically keep a quarter of what the investor pays and we pay out three quarters to the, to the client. And the question is not why Darwin X pays 15%, the question is why these prop, so-called prop firms who do not even invest in the traders uh, can promise 80%. And let me tell you why, because this 80% is 80% on nothing. And the reason is, why is that nothing? Because no one can make money, uh, like 10% per month with 5% drawdown for more than a couple of months. True. No one. That's true. Okay, so they could be offering 250%, it would still be bull****. That's true. Okay. And that's the, the general expectation that is around YouTube and socials and internet because so many prop firms offer this 80% and the traders are expecting everyone to offer 80% but what you're saying means that people should get Darwin X not as a prop firm but as a... We're basically a hedge fund and we're looking, fund. For, we're looking for good fund. traders and then if you work for a hedge fund in London you'd be lucky to make 5% of the upside that you produce for investors. Right. So we're basically paying three times that because we are an online platform, there are no middlemen. Okay. And this other thing, it's all over the internet because there's a lot of people who make a lot of money when people lose a lot of money. Absolutely. So the fact that it's all over the place <laughs> doesn't mean that it's true. It's just a big piece of bull****, but it's still bull****. It's easy to sell when you promise a lot. You can promise a shortcut that you can get rich quick by trading 10% per month and that just doesn't exist. You can make it one month, you can make it two months, you can make it even three months if you get very lucky, but if you're trying to target 10% per month, the only way you're going to finish is in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, okay. I thank you very much for showing your face on my YouTube channel yeah. and I appreciate your transparency. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm on one of their famous rooftops and behind me you will find... Okay, I'm joking. It's not a travel channel. This is what I think. I think the fact that the CEO showed his face on my channel and he answered the question straightforward says that they are not hiding. With many other prop firms, we don't know who is behind. Well, I had the chance to walk through their offices and meet many of their team members. We also had a chat with Juan for about one hour and probably we will publish it on the EA Trading Academy channel because he answered more questions. But he shared with me that he feels kind of embarrassed that people are comparing Darwin X with prop firms. And I did it as well because we get a funded account at the end of the day, right? So the way we have to look at Darwin X is more as a hedge fund and not a prop firm. And with the hedge funds, you need to accept the fact that you receive less as a percentage from the profits you earn, but it's the long-term gain. This is where you don't lose the account. If you're profitable, you earn. If you're not, you don't get payouts. But at the end of the day, if you want to be trader, you have to look at it in a long-term perspective. And now I have to say thank you for watching because I really can't stand this cocktail and I'm really hungry. Before you go, check out this video on my site to learn more about the Darwin X engine. I love you guys, thanks for all of the support. We passed the 50K and now we are chasing the 100,000 subscribers, which we will reach together. As always, I love you and I'll see you in the next video.